Where's Mr. Awkward? Good morning, HMS, and welcome to the final four episodes of HMS Today. I'm your host, Dawson Markey. We've been working hard to make these last weeks good, so we hope you enjoy. As we often do, let's start off with our principal, Mr. Keller. Today, he's talking with Mrs. Brummett. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. I think you all know Ms. Brummett as our dynamic media teacher. Uh, and I think some of you probably also know that she ran the marathon and is a marathoner. So Ms. Brummett, I wanted to see if you could share us with us uh, what it is about running that inspires you and what inspired you to run the marathon. All right. So um, running for me personally is just a very um, cathartic experience. So it really helps me focus my thoughts. It um, helps relieve anxiety for me. Um, after I finish with a run, I just feel much calmer. So I would say that's personally why I have enjoyed running throughout the many years that I've been running. Um, the marathon itself is just to me, an extremely inspiring event. A lot of people coming together to run for lots of good causes, raising money for those causes. Um, and then also just challenging themselves to do something that maybe they never thought they could do. Um, and you know, watching themselves go through the process of training and then the day comes and, and completing this amazing thing, so. Thanks, Ms. Thanks for all. The, thanks for all that you did for Desire to Inspire. You can learn a lot of life lessons from marathoning. I always say, okay, I haven't, but maybe I could. Maybe I will. Either way, let's head over to Mr. Awkward's room for a new Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that thumbnails are the fastest growing fingernails? I learned that from a friend of mine who read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Also, that it was, and maybe still is, illegal to duck hunt from an airplane in Colorado. I think there's a joke in there somewhere that's sure to quack you up. Also, that the average American has a 10,000 word vocabulary in their lexicon. That's their rolling, scrolling kind of word bank in their brain. But I'm sure that you most likely have more than that because you all will read a great book this weekend. Also, be kind to one another. That's it for today, folks. Very cool. Thanks, Mr. Rockwood. I love those segments. And another fan favorite. Yes, we got your emails. It's the question of the day. We've scheduled a new question of the day for each of our remaining shows. You're welcome. Today we're asking if you had to work but didn't need the money, what job would you do? A YouTuber! I'd be in a painter. I would be an actress. I would be a pro boxing player. Math programmer. I'd be a Minecraft modder. A lawyer. A professional sweat. I would be a sailor. A professional gamer. I would be the CEO of Google. An actor or a cartoonist. Thanks for answering. Coming up next is our last puppet show book talk for the year. Take it away, animal. I'm here to talk to you about this wonderful book called Bliss by Katherine Littlewood. Yay! So, there's this girl named Rosemary, and her family owns a bakery. They have a magical cookbook called The Cookery Book. Rosemary's parents have to leave town and trust her and her siblings to keep the cookery book locked. A stranger comes into the bakery claiming to be their aunt and Rosemary and her siblings experiment with some of the forbidden recipes. How much damage can a couple of kids do in a week or two? Hmm? Read the book Bliss by Katherine Littlewood to find out. Time to make my summer reading list. Now it's time for the birthday scroll. Happy birthday to you all. Now, to wrap things up, let's check in out on our latest poll. If you could have any animal as a pet, what would you pick? Strangely, we got 13 answers, and no one received more than one vote, so it's a 13-way tie. If you want to see those answers, 
or take our new poll, visit our website. Now we have a new Have You Seen This? So tell us where this picture was taken for a chance to win a prize. And here are a few of, of our latest happy winners. In case you need a reminding how awesome it is to win a prize, to find everything us, visit HMS today. Until next week, stay awesome. <laughs>